Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn default constructor. Let us have a definition of default constructor. A constructor that does not take or does not accept any argument is called default constructor. A constructor that do not accept any arguments is called default constructor. It is also called zero argument constructor. Now let us uh, study the features of default constructor. The first feature is default constructor invokes automatically when the object of the class is created. So as soon as the object is created, immediately the default constructor will get executed. Default constructor initializes the same set of values to all the objects of the class because here different values cannot be initialized to the default constructor because it do not have any arguments. Hence, the default constructor initializes the same set of values to all the objects of the class. Third characteristic feature is in default constructor, different objects cannot be initialized with the different values. Now, let us check out what are the disadvantages of using default constructor. The first one is default constructor initializes the same set of values to all the objects of the class. And the second disadvantage is in default constructor, different objects cannot be initialized with a different values. Now, let us take an example. Here, I'm going to write hash include in Angular base. I'm going to write iostream.h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in Angular base. I'm going to write console input output dot h header file then i'm going to write here a class for example i'll write class test early open brace and here in a private section of the class i'm going to declare two variables called int a comma b now in a public section i'm going to write a default constructor so as we know that the constructor name is same as that of the class name and it is not going to have any return type so hence the class name is what here test i'm going to write class name as test and it do not have any argument so parentheses are empty now we will go for the definition of the constructor constructors are the special member functions which are used to initialize data members of the class here i'm going to initialize data member a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and curly closing brace now we are going to write a user defined function called display so i want to display the value i'm going to write wide display is the user defined function here i'm going to write c out statement i want to print the value of both a and b i'm going to write here a in a double quotation mark is equal to and value of a and then stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write b is equal to stream op uh, insertion operator b i'm going to write and put semicolon and curly closing brace in we are going to write a main function i'm going to write wide main curly open brace here i'm going to create the object of this class so class name is test and i'm going to write any valid identifier name suppose i'm going to write here t so t is the object of test class type because class is a user defined data type with the help of this t it is possible for me to call display function but constructor says that as soon as the object of the class is created automatically constructor will get invokes but 
the user defined functions has to be explicitly called with the help of object here i'm going to write t dot display so i cannot write here t dot test because as per the definition of constructor says that as soon as the object of the class is created immediately this uh, member function that is constructor will get invoked immediately and initializes with the values now i'm going to write get ch function then curly closing phrase now let us check out how exactly this program works once we compile and run this program whenever we compile and run the program always execution takes place from the main function only here we have created object of test type so t dot display so as soon as the object of the class is created immediately first control transfers to test and both of these two data members a and b will be initialized with values 10 and 20 respectively so after this particular function call immediately control transfers back once again to the main function to call display function p dot display and it is going to print a is equal to a value is 10 and here you can see i have written b is equal to the value stored in b is 20 now let us execute this program and check out the result here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error let us execute this program by pressing control f9 here you can see it is displaying a is equal to 10 and p is equal to 20